Okay, so welcome to our Road to Senior Gold. You guys are gold ambassadors, which is such a huge, huge accomplishment. And you guys should be so proud to be where you're at because to reach gold, we always say if you can make it to gold, you can make it to diamond. Because as you know, getting to gold can be quite a challenge. You've got to go from three people to at least 20 people on your team. And that's a huge, huge increase. So you guys should feel proud to be gold, but also feel even prouder to be working towards senior gold because that's really where you start to set the momentum to become a jewel. Um, you've built that foundation for your team. You have a team. You probably have many people on your team that are either close to gold. Maybe you have some that are gold, um, but you probably have some silvers as well. Um, but here's the thing. Um, you can usually get to gold by yourself. There's been people that have signed 20 level ones just themselves, their gold ambassador. But to get past gold, you need a team. You need to help build your team and duplicate, and you need to learn how to become a leader. And um, this is kind of a turning point in your business because um, you cannot get to emerald, sapphire, or diamond by yourself. Um, th there's a lot of points and that's a lot of people, um, and you've got to learn to duplicate. So, um, the one thing that you've got to learn at this stage is to, if your site is set on diamond or emerald or wherever it's at, it can be pretty intimidating to look at that end goal. You've got to break it down and focus on one goal at a time. If your goal is to um, go uh, emerald, then focus on, okay, how do I get to senior gold? How do I get to ruby and things like that? So that's what this is going to do today is we're going to talk about how to get to senior gold because you got to get there to get to diamond. Every diamond has been a gold ambassador. Every diamond had to go on the same journey. So um, I want to ask you, have you really drawn your line in the sand? Um, we say that a lot, um, you know, draw your line in the sand. And what that means is, um, have you really committed? A lot of people can make it to gold, but there's also a saying that gold is where people go to die because um, you can get to gold and then sort of stop. You may have people on your team that don't see the vision. Um, you may have not um, known how to convey that vision. Maybe you didn't know how to duplicate. All of these things are, are hard things that we learn as a gold ambassador because, like I said, you can get to gold by yourself. I can go out and sign 20 people. Um, I remember uh, when I joined, it was in October, that very next month, Sonia Dudley challenged us to sign 30 people in 30 days in November. And I remember I grew my team from, I think, six ambassadors in October to almost 40. And I, I signed them all by myself, but I had no idea what I was doing other than signing people up. And um, it's where you really have to learn to lead these people that you're signing. Um, if you don't see the vision, your team is not going to see the vision. So I want you to kind of ask yourself, you know, if you're gold, um, have you decided that you're going to be Emerald one day? Do you see yourself in Maui um, in the jewel section? Have you made that decision? Do you see yourself doing that? Or are you the gold ambassador that says, yeah, one day, or I don't think I can get there. It was hard enough to get to gold. I don't know if I can go any further. Um, do you see yourself going to diamond if that's your goal? Um, do you want that financial freedom? Some of you could care less where you're at. You want that financial freedom. Maybe you have something driving you, whether it's to bring a spouse home, to provide um, for your kids, your family, whatever. Have you made that decision to put the blinders on and to say, I'm not going to let anything distract me. I am going 
to that goal. I don't care what it takes. I'm going to get there. I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of my Netflix time today so that I can enjoy later the things that I want to do. Um, things at this point, and maybe some of you are here, things get hard when you're a gold ambassador. Um, things can be discouraging. I remember when I was um, gold to senior gold, um, I remember Melissa telling me um, when I, I was like panicked because I, I had my very first white line and I was like, what is this? And she's like, oh, it's okay. It's normal. People, you know, they come and go. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Every person I'm going to sign is going to be active forever. And they're going to go to the top with me. And that didn't happen. I had people join my team that didn't want to go to the top. Or I signed people that probably should have been customers. And so you're learning about really who makes good ambassadors and who, um, who wants to go with you. And you may have some of those white lines on your team and it can be so frustrating and it can be hard to get your team to see the vision you see. I remember as a gold ambassador having so much belief in this company. I was like, I am going to Emerald. I remember when I signed up, I went out and I bought a um, little planner and I wrote Emerald Extravaganza on it. I bought a swimsuit. Um, I bought um, a cute little outfit for Maui and that was my motivation. I hung it in my closet and I was like, I am going to Maui. I'm gonna make it. And when some of my team did not have that vision, it was frustrating for me because why can't they see this amazing thing that I can see? Like, why would you not want to do what I'm doing? And so this journey can be frustrating where you're at. So I want you to know that it can be hard, but you can do it because you've got here. You've got to one of the, the hardest ranks to achieve. So it's time to kind of dig in and look beyond your strength and really make a good game plan. Okay, so um, what does it mean to be a senior gold ambassador? And I know you guys know this. Um, to be senior gold, you need 250 points, um, which sometimes can seem like you might as well just go for diamond points because 250 seems like a lot. I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, like... <laughs> How am I going to get there? Um, that also means that you need 50 or more level one through fives. So you don't have to go out and personally sponsor 50 people. Um, when you're senior gold, that can look like a bunch of different things. When I turned senior gold, I had one person on my team that was, I think, I don't even know if Janelle was gold yet. I think she was silver at the time. Maybe she was about to be gold or maybe she was gold. Um, but she was my only person that was gold. Everyone else was just ambassadors. And um, I recruited a lot of people myself. And um, I had Janelle, who was my rock star. But at the same time, I had to keep recruiting. I didn't, I didn't know because when Janelle joined, she didn't want the business. So I didn't, I didn't know if she was going to be awesome or not. And so I had to make a point to, you know, I want to get here. I've, I've got to keep sponsoring. And that's what you've got to remember as well. Um, you get a $350 cash bonus, which if you hit this month, um, it'll be doubled. Um, and then the average monthly income, this is what is awesome. And this is what you have to go back to on those hard moments. The average monthly income is $1,938. Um, for me, like $400 was life changing. And, and it's very easy once you start building this business, you keep getting increases and you're thinking, you know, I, I'm comfortable here. I want more. I want more, which is a great feeling. But on the same time, we forget, like, how awesome would this have been when we first started? You know, the average senior gold ambassador, if you look at the chart, makes almost as much as the average USA per capita income per year. So that's huge. Getting our team to understand these 
opportunities at ambassador, senior ambassador, silver and gold is what is going to get us to senior gold. So what I want you to start thinking about is when was your aha moment? When um, did you kind of like the light bulb go on? And for you, I want you to think about when did you really feel like Plexus, Plexus is, is going to work? Plexus is legit. Plexus is the real deal. For me, it was um, that first check I got. I didn't think I would actually make money. Even after I went silver, I was like, well, I need to see that I actually got paid that bonus because um, I, I don't believe that I'm going to get paid. And when I got that first check, it was it was life changing. I could go out on a date with my husband and I could pay for a babysitter. Um, when I got my first gold check, I remember my gold bonus, we went out and bought a washer and dryer. Those things, those are the things you want to go back and remember. Because even though making Jewel income is great, you don't go from sign up to Jewel overnight. It's these little steps along the way that help renew your own vision, that help renew your own passion, and for your team. Your team wants to see that they can achieve it, that you can make money as a silver, as a gold. And what does that look like? If it's having your electric bill paid, I'm all for that. I mean, shoot, sign me up. Um, so how do you get your team to catch the vision? What is it that your team needs? This is where your team is small enough to where you can know your one through fours pretty intimately. You know, okay, this group of, you know, three or four people, they signed up because they need the financial freedom. This group over here, they need the health benefits. Um, this person over here, she wants to bring her husband home. You need to know why your team is doing this. So you need to daily invest in your team because these small goals, they are going to build huge unshakable belief. And that is what's going to get you to diamond. Um, John Maxwell has this quote, the growth and development of people is the highest calling of a leader because you cannot get past gold if you're not investing in your team. If you're not finding out why are your people doing this? Because just like you have frustrating moments and you may go to your sponsor, they are too. And so they really need you. They need you more as they're trying to build their team. So have one-on-one -on -one phone calls and Zoom meetings. I'm fortunate I work with some of my team, so we talk often. I can check in. Um, a lot of them are out of state, so I just pop on Messenger sometimes. How's it going? Um, how can I help you this week? What are your goals for um, October? What are your goals for November? How do you plan to get there? I'll, make, I'll help them make a game plan. Um, so, okay, you want to get to gold? How many points do you have now? How do we get your team to silver? You know, always think about the power of three. Um, you need to be thinking about helping your team meet their smaller goals because in the end, going to Maui, going to leaders and all that is fun, but do you want to do it by yourself? No, you want the people that you have on your team to be there with you. Um, last year at Leaders, I had one of my two people that qualified that was there, and it was fun. But this year, it's so much more fun because there are more people. So you want to encourage your team, and you want them to see you're there to help them. Um, your team's why becomes your why. You want to treat your levels one through threes as your own personal level ones. There are so many... Um, what I call adoptees on my team, people that um, maybe my level one I signed up, they decided they don't really want to work the business, but somebody they signed up did. Well, before Plexus, I didn't know them, and I learned this the hard way because all those people I was signing up, they were signing people up, but I was not reaching out to them because I thought, well, they're their friends. They don't want to hear from some stranger. Well, come to find out, a lot of them wanted to work the business, 
but I never reached out to them. So you know what they did? They're white lines. And now trying to reach out to them. Now I really am a stranger to them. Whereas when somebody gets welcomed on my team, I have a personal welcome video. I'm reaching out to my one through threes. I build that relationship so that if at any time one of my level ones or twos, they have to kind of take a break from Plexus, whether it's life, whether they really don't want to work the business anyways, I can then help that person reach their goals. And they feel like they now have somebody that they can link arms with. They're not kind of like an island and feeling like, great, well, I joined this so-called great Plexus team and I don't know anybody now because my sponsor quit. And that happens a lot of times. Um, so how do you connect with your team? Um, the saying, people work more for praises than they do with for raises is very true. We all want to be edified. We all want to be told we're doing a good job. We all want to be noticed. And when we're noticing our team, when we're reaching out, hey, so-and-so got their first customer today. Yay, way to go. That's a big deal. Not only for your person, but for team culture, for team morale. Um, showing your team that you are excited for them they're going to be excited. Um, I always tell my people, I'm going to be your biggest cheerleader. Like, I love that I am a Sapphire ambassador, but I am not satisfied because I have so many friends on our team that I want to help get to the next level. Um, I am their cheerleader. I want to help them. And we were created for relationships. So there are going to be people who join your team for the social network. That is totally me. Like, yes, I wanted the opportunity, but I'm a total blue person, which is the four colors. I'm all about having fun. I'm all about, um, you know, meeting people, talking to people, hanging out and, you know, doing all of the fun social events. Um, so when you're at Plexus events, even convention, are you posting on your personal Facebook page and tagging your team and being like, or are you, you know, just sort of posting in your team page? Are you connecting with your team and, and telling them like, oh, like, like, for example, leaders retreat. I can't wait for you to be here next year. Um, they want to feel included and I want them to be included. Um, Another way to connect is events, live events. We were talking about this earlier today on the Jewel panel, and if you have not watched the live videos on Team Eichenhorst, you need to. Um, some of the events that we do are on Zoom like this, which is awesome because you can connect all around the world, but there's something about being in person with somebody, and you can connect face-to-face -face with your team. Um, also the five, three, one challenges. Sometimes we'll do a challenge where, um, five, three, one is five new people a day. I want you to either meet or introduce or get to know five new people. I want you to follow up with three people. These could be customers. These could be new ambassadors. These could be um, people on the fence. You're just following up with three people and then you're training one. You can do this five, three, one. You can have a goal for yourself to do this um, once a month. You could do it once a week. Whatever your goal is, you need to stick to it, though. Don't be one of those people like me where I hear a good idea and I'm like, oh, totally going to do that. I'm going to do five, three, one, like every day because that is awesome. And you start doing it and you're like, oh, crap, like... <laughs> That's a lot of work. I don't have the time for it. And now my team is going to suffer because I don't have time for them either. And I don't have time for me. So when you sit down to do the 531, look at your schedule. Look at what is a feasible reality. Um, don't talk down to yourself and say, well, I can only do it once a month. That is fine. That is better than zero times a month. And so start out small. Maybe say, okay, I'm going to, during the month of November, we've got Thanksgiving, so I'm going to be busy. You know, maybe I'm going to do 531 the first two weeks of November, okay? Build that habit, though, and, and start somewhere.
Um, power partners are so vital. I know you guys know that Kim is my power partner, but having somebody that is a runner with you, they can help encourage you. There have been times where I have just been so discouraged. And honestly, I've been like, I don't care if I'm an emerald. I don't want to do this. I, I'm not cut out for it. I'm not a leader. And, and I've gone to Kim and I've talked to her and she's kind of like slapped me and been like, no, you are a leader. You can do this. Like, you know, and she refocuses me. Um, you need somebody there that is about your same rank. So all of you on here are gold ambassadors. If you don't have a power partner, you can reach out to each other. If you need a power partner, I will connect you with another gold ambassador. But you all are going towards senior gold. You're all going towards the same goal. So encourage one another. Um, I have power partners that are not on my team either. I talk with Laura Ferguson a lot. Um, I talk with Amy Paul. Um, I also talk with Erge Egu Fry. She's also a Sapphire. And I get ideas from them. Like, what are you doing on your team page this month? Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Or sometimes she'll ask Kim and I, what are you guys doing? And we share ideas because that's how you're going to grow your team. Um, and then the IPA challenges. Melissa is doing this right now on Team Eichenhorst. And basically, IPA is income producing act, uh, activity. And you want to make sure that you are challenging your downline to do this. You can set the challenge. You do not have to do what Melissa is doing. You can make a challenge and say for your team, hey team, I want to challenge us to post on Facebook every day this week. If you post on Facebook every day, I'm going to draw for a Slim and Block three-day sample, whatever. You, can, you don't even have to have a prize. Um, but make it a challenge and, and keep each other accountable. That's the key is you need to keep each other accountable for that. Um, and with events, I want to say to you that you guys are gold. You're leaders. You need to step up as gold leaders. Uh, being a leader is not about a title. You do not have to be a jewel to be a leader. You guys are all amazing on our team. I've seen you with your teams. I've seen you guys have an amazing story. And I know that was one of the things that hindered me was I didn't really do anything leadership wise because I was, you know, Kim and I were directly under Melissa. She does so good. Why should we, you know, recreate the will when she does it so good? But then I, I was not I did not know how to lead I you know when I turned emerald I thought to myself I don't know what to do with all these people I don't know how to tell them to go to gold and they're asking me questions and I don't know and I should and so that challenged me um, so you need to lead your team what does that mean you need to train your team to duplicate um, last November I was at mastermind and it was fabulous like one of the best trainings I've ever been to however um, it totally is like a harsh reality <laughs> like you have to be very open because Randy Gage was one of my favorite speakers um, but he has some hard truths and one of his quotes I love is success without duplication is merely future failure in disguise because if we're not teaching our teams to duplicate then if we're not teaching success duplication, we're teaching failure duplication. Your, your team is going to duplicate something. They're either going to duplicate the things you're doing well, or they're going to duplicate the things you suck at. And I've been on both sides. I've been frustrated with my team, and I've had to take a step back and, and look and be like, you know what? They are duplicating me. I cannot be mad at them. It's me. And you need to stop looking at your team and look at you. Um, so if I stepped on some nerves, I'm sorry, but I've been there as well where I've been like, you know what? It is. It's failure. It's future failure. And all you're doing is disguising it because there's no successful duplication. And that's what we need. So what do you want to duplicate? Um, you want to set the tone for your team. What are they going to duplicate 
that you want to trickle on down the line. When you, um, like Kim and I joke, we have, you know, under Janelle, uh, Autumn McLees is my level eight and she's an emerald. So we have this huge long line. I think we have to like level 20 now on that leg. What do you want them to duplicate? If these people are going to keep signing people and so on, um, what are they going to be doing that you can then look down that line and say, I did that really well? Or are you going to look down that line and say, oh my gosh, my problem is magnified. You know, it's like this saying with kids, you're, you totally see like your failures <laughs> magnified in your children because they do it and you're like, oh, oops, <laughs> that what that looks like, you know? Um, so here are some things that you need to teach your team to duplicate. And it is hard to start this um, after you have a larger team. So at Gold, you have a small enough team. Um, and if you have a power partner on your team, start these things in motion. Number one is the new ambassador checklist. What do you want your new ambassadors to do? From sign on, do you welcome them? Um, do your ambassadors know what to do after they sign a new ambassador? Is it, okay, I signed them up, I welcome them, that's it. Um, or do you have like a checklist? Okay, you welcome a person to your team, you welcome them on the team page, then you need to set a three-way call for them. Then on this three-way call, this is what you're going to be doing. What is it that you are training your ambassadors to do with their ambassadors? Because remember, that's duplication. Um, and then new customer checklist. When your ambassador gets a new customer, do they know to follow up with them or do they hey I got a new customer great oh they quit I don't know why they quit oh I didn't even know they quit you know um, you need to make sure your team knows to check in with people to troubleshoot with them to encourage them especially when an ambassador gets their very first customer that is like a huge relief when somebody gets that first customer because it seems like oh my gosh I can actually do this encourage them um, and then team pages and Zoom calls. Um, I know all of you have either your own team page or you have like Kim and I where you have a joint team page, which if you have your power partner and you're on the same team, it is better to keep your team page together. You don't need 50 million team pages for your team to be added to. Um, your team should see your face at least once a week. Kim and I try to trade off who's going to do a live video, um, but we try to do something um, either live or record and upload at least once a week so that our team knows we are here. I've, I'm a part of a lot of gold pages. It is crickets. There is no interaction. The team is not motivated. And you're not going to be going from gold to senior gold. Your team is duplicating what you're doing. So if you're not excited, your team is not going to be excited. If you're not interacting with your team, they're not going to interact with you. They're going to do what you're doing. And so you need to set um, the pace for your team. Are, are you going to lead them in some Zoom calls? Kim and I do our Sunday night Zoom calls, but that does not mean you don't do your own with your team. You know what your team needs specifically. Maybe your team needs a weekly um, product video. Maybe once a week you go on just for three minutes. Hey, today we're going to talk about Slim. You know, um, you need to educate your team. So bring it back to you because remember, it's all about you um, at this point. You have a team but you need to be the leader. Don't stop recruiting. I see so many times the reason people get to gold and die is they feel like, awesome, I made it to gold. Now it's my team's responsibility to recruit and grow. That is not how this works. Even when I went Emerald and even Sapphire, I do not stop recruiting. You're going to have seasons where, yes, there are going to be people waiting in line to sign up under you. There are going to be seasons where there is nobody. But that does not mean you stop. That does not mean you stop following up. That does not mean that you don't 
sign people at all. I've, I have a lot of golds on my team that are white lines. And I used to think like, how could you be a gold ambassador? Like that takes hard work to get there and then quit. But it's because they recruited to get to gold and then stopped. And they felt like it was their team's responsibility to carry them the rest of the way. And that is not um, how it works. Your team is going to be exhausted, and they are modeling what you are modeling. So if you're stopping, they're going to stop. You want to aim to go silver, and like I just said, your team follows your lead. So one of the things I love is something that Celeste uses this analogy. Plexus is like a bathtub. Have you ever um, had the bathtub on full but left the drain open a little bit it still fills up but if you turn the water off the water does not stay in the bathtub it drains out the same is true with your team you can work hard to fill it up but people are going to come and they're going to go every person you sign is not going to stay with you there are going to be people that are going to be your rock solid people with you till the end and there's going to be people with you that um, <clears throat> they're not and so they're gonna fall through the drain and so you have to continually be putting water in if you shut the water off your team is gonna fall apart completely so you never stop recruiting you always are working towards that secondly you want to take care of your customers and I know we talk a lot about this but I one of the things that we really hit on today was making sure that they understand the products and how they work if your customers understood how amazing these products are they will never want to be off of them and so we need to do better and I'm preaching to myself at getting our customers to understand when you're taking the plexus probiotic why is it set apart why is it amazing and and work with them so that they can see that because sometimes people just order from you to help you out because you're their friend but if they see the vision if they see oh my gosh Plexus Slim is balancing my blood sugar. I can tell. If Plexus um, Slim is giving me energy, I can feel it. They're going to be more likely to stay with you to see some of those longer term results like weight loss that are not immediate. And happy customers make awesome ambassadors. I've flipped every one of my customers so far to ambassadors. And that's because they are happy customers. Um, if you have really high PV and you're not flipping customers, you need to not only get more customers because you don't want to stop recruiting customers either, but also if somebody's been on the products for you know three months, ask them about the opportunity approach them and say hey you know you love these so much have you thought about purchasing as a wholesale ambassador um you still get your products but even at a dis even more discounted price and do you have any friends that have noticed your energy or your better mood a lot of times they don't realize that they really do have friends that have complimented them and so by you asking them and and kind of putting it in their ear they think about it and they're like you know what yeah um, I have had a quite a few people ask me then that's where you can say you know what if you sign up as an ambassador your friends can buy from you and your products could be free who does not like free products I love free products so make sure you're constantly checking in on your customers and then last be intentional um, it's so easy once you hit gold you finally have a team and it's so exciting to have a team and to lead that you want to pour all your time into your team and you kind of shift from um, being um, kind of ambassador driven and recruiting and all of that and working on your own personal business you shift to your team and you become management mode and you're always on your team page you're always answering texts or messages which you do need to be there for your team however 
your own business needs to come first. And the reason for that is because your team is following your lead. So if you're showing them, hey, at Gold, you stop working your own business, you work, you help your team work theirs, that's what they're going to do. And in the end, it makes more work for you because you have a larger team to now manage. And your own team is going to suffer. So you need to make sure we talk about the Plexus Power Hour. You're getting your own personal time in. What are you going to do? Are you reaching out to people? Are you trying to get those fence sitters off? Are you working on new customers? Are you talking to your customers to flip them? I know people that don't ever talk to their customer. It's like once they sign up as a customer, that's it. They'll order as long as they want, and, but that's not – good customer service. So make sure you're being intentional. So I'm going to leave you with this. It's time to draw your line in the sand. You are worth investing in. You are. You need to put that somewhere where you can see it because as a gold ambassador, you are worth it. Your why, the reason you started this, it's going to take some investing, but you can do it. You have made it to gold, so there is nothing stopping you but you. So it's time to draw that line. We've got November coming up, and so it is time to maybe take a look these next few days. What do I need to do in next month to help my business grow? Do I need to rebalance my priorities? Do I need to set some boundaries? Um, do I need to set some Plexus power hours? Do I need to do some um, IPA challenges for myself? But also, it's not about you getting to senior gold. Look at your team. Who can you help get to silver next month? Who can you get to gold next month? They are worth investing in as well. So you as a leader, reach out to those people. Ask them, what's your game plan for next month? What is your goal? If, if they're, you know, between silver and gold, help them make a good action plan. Okay, you got 30 points this month. How about we focus on adding eight new ambassadors next month. How can we do that? Who can we help go silver on your team? So re make a list of all your kind of people, your leaders, your runners, checking in with them and asking them what you can do for them to help them get to that next level. Okay. So I am going to stop recording.